Hello my beautiful bitters, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to do another book declutter and for somebody who loves books this is extremely extremely hard to do. What I need to do is I need to try to stick it stick to just two bookshelves uh, because space we don't have space and we're going to be painting and doing all sorts of other stuff and moving books around is a pain in the butt so i would like to just declutter and um go from there so i have audible i have kindle i have a nook so i have books in those three areas and then i have books behind me so um i just need to go through all three of those places and see if i have any duplications if i have any dupes then i need to pull them out and just get them out of my area because my house is too small for this it's too small for this so here's the first look of my one bookshelf that we're going to be decluttering as you can see i love tracy peterson i have two shelves worth of tracy peterson i actually have around 80 books of Tracy Peterson and I've been slowly taking stuff out of off my shelf as I get you know if the, she offers like a free Kindle then I'll snag it and then I'll pull something off the shelf just to give room but she's my absolute favorite author hence all my books um, my second shelf and as you see I am a Christian fiction I love my Christian fiction the most so this third shelf, the fourth one is a little on the crazy side, and the fifth one's on the crazy side. Now all the ones that say used on them, they're all books that I got for dirt cheap during the Hastings closing sale. This may be a lengthy process on my end just because I have to do a lot of research between the three sites to make sure I don't have any duplications. So let's just get through this shall we okay so let's go with the first shelf now these are all my friends' books so I can't get rid of those this is my dad's recollection Creek that needs to go back to him this one is a library book so all those have to has to stay now I do have some books that are pulled out now which means that these are duplicate books that I have in my Kindle or nook but the problem is, is I don't have the rest of the series in that. So I don't want to break up a set in my collection because as you guys know, Peterson's my favorite. So it would just break my heart to get rid of, you know, book one and just have two and three in the bookshelf. So um, it's going to be hard, but I'm just going to have to just deal with that until I get the other ones now these ones are pulled out further and that's because they are not in a set or I have the whole set on Kindle so these are all books that I will be able to get rid of this one's pulled out halfway because I actually don't have the third book of this series but I'm going to get rid of the whole thing because this is all a a complete set and I also had a duplicate book these two are duplicates and then one on my Kindle so all four of these books are gonna go oh that's so hard cuz Peterson's my favorite but you know I gotta make room I gotta make room so um, I have the first one of the series on this in book I have both of these are on my Kindle so these ones I do not have this one I do. These ones I don't have. These two I do. Um, that one I do. This now we're into uh, um, geese, Di Diane Geese, and I have this one on my Kindle. And then let's see, I have this one. And then that takes care of all my geese, Deanne Geese. And then now I'm on to the, my Kathy Marie Hake. And I have um, Letter Perfect. And I have Bittersweet. So um, I just took care of half my bookshelf on that shelf. Okay, so this one 
uh, Kim Vogel Sawyer. I have this one. This one I just read in my Project To Be Read book um, or series. And what I'm going to try to do is read stuff. And if it's something that I'm not going to necessarily read again, um, then I'm going to just declutter it after I read it. But I want to get to reading everything in my bookshelves and taking out all my duplicates are going to help a lot. So this was a great book, but I have so many books I don't necessarily see myself reading this for years to come. And by then I just may have it on my Kindle. Hence why I'm getting rid of it. Uh, this is a duplicate, I promise for Ellie. Um, this one is a duplicate, and this Jody Headland one is a duplicate. So that just, you know, I got some more space in that row, not like the first one. I have a couple more in here. Look at this. Well, this one could be put in with my Headland stuff. Actually, this needs to go with my daughter's. And this needs to go with the Keneally stuff. Mary Keneally, she is absolutely hilarious and love reading her books. This one here, duplicate. Now this one is a set of three um, by Francine Rivers. I The first one is a duplicate, but the second two and three are not. But because these are bigger books, I'm actually gonna break up this set just because I'm I love to read rivers, but they're not ones that I like to reread, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to declutter that one, keep the other two. This is the only one of hers that I will read over and over and over again. Love this one. This is my absolute favorite one of hers that I will read. That I'll read. And then this one is a trilogy also, and I do have the first one, but because I only have three of Heitzman's books, I am willing to pull out book one, break up the set. Okay, so then we go down here to the bottom row. This one, I literally had a duplicate. I had two of these books. So this one pulled out. Now, the only other ones that I have duplicates are Jeanette Oak, Once Upon a Summer. I'm willing to pull this out. And then my favorite Jeanette Oak series is the Love Comes Softly series. And I have book one on my Kindle. So I am, this is all oh, harsh, I'm breaking up the series, but these are small books. This is a hardcover and everything else is paper back and I would I want to get them all if I'm gonna have the paperback I want them all to have this newer cover so I would like to slowly update the whole series of eight books so I am willing to get rid of that now that I got all the duplicates out which are all of these 223 books decluttered 23 books now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and pull some books that I have read and don't want to keep kind of deal. So let's kind of go through do that. And I think there's a couple Amish books in here that are supposed to be passed on to my mom. And they never got passed on to my mom. So I need to find those <laughs> and pull those out. So I, I want to read all those. This one I did have read. Um, but I do see myself reading again. I liked it. Wow, pulling out stuff, I'm realizing what I have not read. Okay. Oh, I love this series. This is my favorite Lorraine Snelling series. Oh boy, do I want to get rid of it? No, I do not. I don't. I don't. I can't. So let's look in here. A lot of these I have read, you know, like Regina Jennings, I pre-read for her. Same with Jody Headland. Um, but I will reread all this stuff. I just love them so much. Um, Kim Vogel Sawyer. Now these ones are are all uh, since I pre-read for them, they are all 
the advanced reader copies. I'm not allowed to give them away, not allowed to um, donate them to libraries, nothing like that. So they stay, but it's, I absolutely love this series. This is my favorite series of hers, and I will continue to, I'll read them. I see myself reading them. Um, that is, aha, right here. Pull out this baby. Because that's an Amish one. I'm going to pull out this one. I've read that one. This one I really did like. Um, I have not read this in like 10 years. So I'm going to get rid of it. This is one that I'm reading. And then once I get done reading, this one will be decluttered out. Um, okay, all those I'll keep. My Al and Joanna Lacey books... I love them, but I'm going to get rid of all of them. Here's another Amish one that needs to be pulled out for my mama. And let's see. I read this one, so I'm going to pull this one out. This one was very good, but it was really slow, so it was hard getting into it. But, I mean, once you got into it, it was good, but it's just a very slow-moving book. And since I read it, let's move it out. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. I keep saying I'm going to read this series, and I never have. So, I'm just going to get rid of those. Um, and then all these other Jeanette Oak ones, the ones that are not in the Love Come Softly series, these ones I'm going to declutter also. I'm going to declutter this. Redeeming Love, I'm keeping. And these other two, I decluttered the first one. But you know what? I'm just going to declutter these. If I'm going to get them, I'll probably get them on the Kindle. So, you know what? I'm going to declutter these two. I've read them a long time ago, and I don't see myself reading them again. So, I'm just going to get rid of them. That's two more. Woohoo! Okay, so next we're going to do this other bookshelf. This is what the bookshelf looks like currently. There's no books behind my tablet there. Um, there, and then these two. A lot of these are, we're just going to go through them all. Uh, as you can see, I have some actual tapes down there. That's because we need to get them transferred over to um, DVD here soon. Not everything. The only thing that I have a duplicate on is this book right here. Always a baker, never the bride. I was like so excited about this because it has recipes and all that stuff in it and turns out that I already had it on my Kindle. Woohoo. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then let's just go through my top shelf. Um, Legend of the Firefish. Really, really good. Saving it for my son, but I still need to read the next two in the series. This one was an advanced reader copy. Now, the sad thing about these is I'm not allowed to donate these to a library, and I'm not allowed to give them away either to other people. So, basically, they just have to go in the trash, which is unfortunate. But because they're an advanced reader copy, you know, they don't have, you know, all the, the final... Um, check or whatever of the final go through on it so there's some things misspelled and and all sorts of stuff in there so um but i want to get rid of it because it was boring uh, needless to say that was my one and only time for pre-reading for her i couldn't do it after that it was just too boring for me these ones I'm kind of have a hard time with. Erin Patterson is a friend. And he inscribed them to, uh, to Ron and I. I don't see me reading them again. My husband's read them. I read them. We've had friends read them. <sighs> so I just... I'm not going to read them again. So it's kind of a, uh, kind of bugs me that I'm needing to get, get rid of them, but 
you know they're just gonna sit here and collect dust so let's get rid of them now this duo by Bodie and Brock Thorne was a great series uh, but I'm not gonna read them again so I'm just gonna get rid of them this Soul Hunter is a new one. I'm going to read that. This is a book of my husband's. We're going to keep that. I love Footprints in the Sand. It's going to keep that. And then I love Christmas. I love, love, love Christmas books. And out of all the Christmas books that I have on my Kindle and stuff, I actually did not get a duplicate, which I'm like total shock over. So um, I'm going to read all of these. There is one that is an Amish one. So when I finish reading this one, this one will go to my mom. So this one will be decluttered out after I read it. But I am a big Christmas movie and Christmas book reader. This one's Christmas at the Harringtons, which I do believe they made a movie out of from um, Hallmark. Hallmark did a movie off of this. So I'm pretty darn sure that they did a movie off this. Um, this one is The Christmas Visitor. I'm, they may have done a movie off this too, but uh, so Melody Car Carlson is definitely my favorite Christian Christmas book author. She writes the best Christmas novels. So I do have a few other different ones in here but I would like to read them all the Christmas candle so good uh, they made a movie out of this but I still would like to read it and then once I read it I may just pull it out um, and then I have paper angels so um, I just got rid of six books woohoo uh, yay and then let's go down to the second thing now Jesus Freaks I'm gonna keep um, my husband bought this for me that's gonna stay the the resolution for men uh, from the movie courageous and fireproof gonna keep this um, but these max Lakato ones I am going to pass these on I bought these for my husband when he first became a Christian and so he hasn't read them since they were first given to him so I'm gonna get rid of all of these I'd rather you know give them to somebody else who could benefit from them great books love Max Lucado so all these are being gotten rid of now we're gonna go down to this this is my Bible it has a dragonfly it's staying forever this one is new to my collection, so I would like to read it. It's the, the Life Promises for Women. It's a devotional. Now these two I have in my To Be Read, and I am going to put these aside for declutter, but I still need to do the video of them first. So let's put these aside. Power of a Praying Wife, still need to read that. Love is a verb. Sorry, my husband's showering, so it's very noisy. So, love is a verb. It's a devotional. We've already gone through it. Do I want to keep it, though? Do I want to? Do I want to? Do I want to? Get rid of it. I've already read it. I would like a new one. Seasons of Reflection is a good one if you want to read the Bible in a whole year. It splits it up in between... Uh, Old Testament, New Testament, and a psalm or um, Proverbs. And so it's a great way to read the Bible in a year. I'm keeping. Point Man, Man, good book, keeping this. Power of a Positive Wife by Carol Ladd. This is a great book. I have read through this. I was reading through it a second time. Um... I'm going to read through it one more time and then get rid of it. Experiencing God. Um, so, experiencing God. I'm going to keep it. That's a good one. Life change for couples. Still need to read this. But this workbook, I'm going to get rid of. 
I did not write in it. I took a second piece of paper when I did my Bible study, so I'm just going to get rid of this. And look at that. So much smaller and neater. This Montana Mining Ghost Towns book, I'm going to keep it. I do know the photographers of this book. Um, they are family friends. I'm going to keep those that. Dave Ramsey, keeping this good book. This book about multiple sclerosis. I am going to get rid of this. Um, I don't need it. I really just don't need it. So let's get rid of it. Bye bye. Big book taking up space. Maker's diet. Love this. This if I follow any diet, this is what I follow. And then shopper's guide. Keeping both those. Field guide to rocks and minerals. Yeah, I'll keep it. Day hikes around Missoula, keeping that. Now this is my wildflower book, keeping that. Hit wildflower book when we're on the Pacific Coast, keeping that. Then we have our hiking books. We have our glacier and we have our Yellowstone ones, so keeping those. And then this is an Oregon Coast. This is something I got on our honeymoon. About all the lighthouses. But I'm going to get rid of it. This one is Lighthouses of Oregon, and this one I'm going to keep. I didn't need that second one. We have my husband's Bible, keeping that. The MS Recovery Diet, getting rid of that. Multiple Sclerosis Book, getting rid of that. Big Green Book of Recycled Crafts. Um gonna get rid of this we can find everything on Pinterest now no need for it florist book yeah you can find everything on Pinterest get rid of that dinner is in the jar keeping that floral crafts for the first time um eh, get rid of it don't need it so now we go into the beading books this one's Christmas beading, flowers and stuff. I've made so many things. Um, but, you know what, I'm gonna get rid of it. Creative beading, get rid of it. Flowers for the home. Um, this book I'm actually gonna keep, this is a good one. And flowers A to Z, buying, growing, cutting, and arranging. Um, mm, no. This one I'm gonna get rid of. So this whole pile I'm getting rid of, and all of that up there I'm getting rid of. Now I'm gonna move everything over and give you final totals of what I'm getting rid of. Okay, so I got rid of a quite a few things down here and freed up more space this thing was sitting empty before and because i emptied out some photo albums some uh, one big photo album and four smaller out al photo albums i put all of the loose photos in here and it literally completely fills the darn thing up um, until i'm able to get them scrapbooked and stuff I figured let's just keep them condensed in a smaller thing and since I had this and I wasn't planning on getting rid of it might as well fill it up with photos and then I actually freed up not one not two but three bookshelves and then I moved everything up to the top shelf and then I moved a bunch of stuff over to the bottom shelf of the other bookshelf so I completely freed up three shelves of books how awesome is that? Okay, so this top shelf were all my duplicate books. There are 24 books here that were all duplicate on my shelves. Crazy. Then we go down to my declutter books. And so all in all with, there's 50 here because I did them in stacks of 10. So I decluttered 50 books, so that's 20, 74 books there. Then I just decluttered all of these photo albums. 
This had my old Bible in it, but I'm decluttering it. And then these are all my baseball cards. I'm getting rid of all my baseball cards that I saved up thinking that my kids wanted them. They do not want them. They're not interested in them. Never will be interested in them. So I have series 90, 91, 92 in those. I'm going to go through to make sure that there's no valuable ones, but I'm getting rid of all three things of my baseball card collection. So that is it for my declutter. I am so excited about getting rid of all of this out of my bookshelf and freeing up all of this. I mean, I moved everything up here and all that's free. So that is exciting to me. Exciting. I like it. So thank you guys for joining me in this declutter and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.